Hello and welcome back to this video. Let's take a look at implementing a Gantt chart in MarmakeJS with a simple example. Let's come to our code, uh, Marmaid Life Editor, and we're going to start by typing the word Gantt, which is the first code, and then we'll also type the title of the Gantt chart. We will call that Sample Gantt Chart. And then the next thing is to implement the task in the Gantt chart. Tasks are simple parts of work done in a project for a specific time frame. They are represented by one continuous bar that extends from the left to the right. The syntax for representing a task is the task name. This is just a text representing the task name. Then we have the status. And then the ID of the task, the start date, and then the number of days that the task will span. Let's do that here by first implementing a task name. I'm going to call the task name task11. And then I'm going to give it an ID. I can skip the status. Many of the options are optional. I have the ID and then a date. So I'm just going to put a date. After the date, I will put the number of days that I want it to span. I want this to span for three days and you can see it right here. It shows the length of the task starting from the date I specified. And then I'll specify another task, task one, two. This time I'm going to give it an ID one, two. Instead of putting a date, I'm just going to say after one, one. So it knows that it starts immediately one, one ends. And then I'll give it the number of days that I want it to span. This time I want it to span for two days. So you can see task one spans for three days and then task two spans for two days. The X axis represents the time and the Y records the different tasks and the order in which they are completed. You can also separate the tasks to different sessions. Say you have different tasks for different activity. You can have as much session as you want. For session one, I have task one and one, two, and then I'm going to create another session. I'm going to call it session two. And for session two, I will have task two, one, which has an ID of two, one, and then starts at this date and it spans for two days. If you look at the diagram, you will see there are two. One is the session one task, and then the other is the uh, session two task. Let's add more tasks to section two. This time I'm going to have session two, two. And like I said, there are some parameters there that are optional. This time I'm just going to create add the date alone. I'm not going to put up um, an ID and it's still going to recognize it. And I will say for two days and you can see task two, two is now two days. And I'm going to do another task, task two, three. And for task two, three, I'm not even going to add a date. Uh, it has a default that it's going to be starting after this. So I'm just going to add two more days. You can see only two days was added here. Here we had added the date and then the time and then the duration or how long we want it to span. Here we added an ID and how long the date it starts and then how long it spans. If you need to reference your task, you would need to have an ID for the task. Let's say for instance, I want to add a task. I'm going to call that task 34 and I'm going to say task 34 should start after A21, which is this task. So it knows to start immediately after um, A21. It starts from here and then I'm going to have that to span for four days. And you can see it started from here. If you look at the diagram, you can see task 24 started from the ending of 21. You can check out my full video tutorial on Udemy titled Mastering Mermaid JS Diagram, Chart, and Data Visualization, which teaches in depth course on different Mermaid JS diagram and chart implementation. Check out the link in the description for more details.